What is going on? Having a party? Hey, welcome back. Care for a drink, y'all give me some? Heads up. Now make yourself at home. Not that you haven't already. Who, me? Why, whatever do you mean? Kuana's fine. He just swung by to have a chat with you, man. Not that I mind hanging out over beers and shogi. Kaito's a gentleman and a scholar. I like your style. What do you want with me? Check it out, Yakami-san. You're only here to get to the bottom of that Hiro Mikushiba kid's murder, right? That's gotta be the reason the Yokohama Liumang attacked you, isn't it? All I'm saying is that you've gotta cut me in, man. Thanks, but I've got enough help. So some hotshot detective strolls into town and tries to leave the local guy out in the cold? <laughs> no offense, but that's not gonna fly. You gonna play your turn? Just finish your game and go home already. When you benefit from someone who knows the scene? You know, I can get you anywhere in a jean show above or below ground. Aren't you expensive? I'll give you a first-time customer price. I'm not about to sit here and let some outsider swoop in and take all the credit alone. And that means I guess I'm gonna chill here until you give me the nod. It's Tsukumo and Tsukiura's place as far as I'm concerned. Not even my call to make. I welcome having more company. The more the merrier. That'll be the agency motto. I don't really care. Such a nice office. I'm gonna love it here. <laughs> uh, Yagamishi, guess what? The internet picked up on the... The trending sentiment is that he killed him in an act of vengeance. You've already figured that part out? See for yourself. Here, check it out. Ah, no need, but if you... Son of a bitch, student teacher should burn in hell for bullying a kid all the way to suicide. Mikoshiba was a damn psychopath. Ehara is the vigilante groper. And that's not even the trolls. So the news is blowing up on the net, huh? In the internet terms, this is only the first spark that could ignite into a fire. Not even what I'd call viral. Then who's lighting the spark? The people responsible for Mikoshiba's murder? I'll have to go down a few more rabbit holes before I can make that call, I'm afraid. Gotcha. That said, some posts are kinda suspicious. This one here, for instance. Ehara totally called the location of the body at his trial. The fact that he did that never really even went public, as far as I could tell. It was kept off the record? When Ehara got arrested, the cop turned Groper story and his sexual battery charges were huge news. It was all the media could talk about. But by the time his trial rolled around, the news had already moved on. His guilty verdict barely made a blip. Fellas, I told you I wanted to be kept in the loop on this stuff. You saying Mikushiba had more than one killer? And where are they now? You think these lunatics are still hanging around Ijincho? It's been over two months already, man. If they were here, they're probably long gone by now. Another peaceful day in Ijincho, right? Check outside. The Leo Mug. The white mask again. Let's go, Chuck. I'll catch you later. <laughs> not bad. You're not getting away this time. Guy. Hold up.
Great. Where am I? You lure me here? Don't worry, man. I'm not planning on killing you tonight. Okay, but why else would you take off the mask? Because from this point forward, Eugene Cho is closed. You won't be coming back. I'm Tesso. For what it's worth, I'm an officer candidate of the Yokohama Liomon. I hear you took out some of my masked boys the other day. Oh, you mean those guys who thought they could sneak up on me in the afternoon? Maybe if you hadn't resisted at the time, you'd be in a lot less pain than you're about to be in the near future. Who's paying you to try to take me down? This is a job that came down from the top of the org. I don't know who hired us, and to be honest, I don't give a shit either. But... Ripping up a kick-ass detective like you sure sounds like a good time. None of you guys make a move! I want to see if the rumors are true. So I get first taste. <laughs> Show me what you got. Target me! Come <laughs> on. 
Running a little late tonight, aren't we, Kaito-san? Yeah, my bad. Had to punch my way through a few guys. Hey, you gotta run for it. If you stick around, it's not gonna matter how many lives you've got. Yeah, but if I run now, who's gonna pay for Tsukumo's window then? Huh? Uh. For fuck's sake, I'll just pay for it. Now get out of there. <laughs> you got a deal.
Me. Yeah? Just want to say, I'm impressed. Uh, thanks. But if you're feeling generous, how about you tell me who hired you? <laughs> Didn't I say this before? I got no ink. Hey, can you do me a favor and turn down the job next time, maybe? Yeah, right. If the request comes through again, I'm taking it. Simple solution for me in my big mouth. Just go already. Hey, not bad, man. A lot of young... All I want to know is if the view mark no longer... <laughs> Wouldn't go that far. But hey, at least they probably... Guess that is a step forward. <laughs> and... Sugiura! Yagamishi! Oh, thank God you're back! Tsukumo! What happened? He's knocked out cold. Damn it! Masked men attacked us. I couldn't fight them. Masked men, you say? Were they any different from what the Liumang wear? Uh, I, I couldn't get a good look. Sugiura, she they stuck up on him with a bat and came after me next. They caught me. My pinky. They broke it? Hey, are you okay? I'll call an ambulance. There are these photos and a message I was told to give to you, Yagamishi. They said to tell you this is your final warning. They've been spying on me? <laughs> it hurts. Shit. If they want me, then come after me. Talk. I think the Leomon were part of the plan. As bait. They probably only came to lure us away from the office. The worst part is it fucking worked! <sighs> this camera ought to show everyone coming in and out of the building. Look. There's me and Kaito chasing down the Leoman. But here's the hitch. There were seven of them, and they didn't have those trademark white masks. So clearly, they're not Leoman. <laughs> they must have got the white masks to lure us out. Meaning they're the ones calling the shots here. Wouldn't surprise me if they were also Ihara's accomplices to murder. That'd be something. Though, it's hard to believe a single murder could involve so many people. Really? Why do you say that? More friends, more loose lips. One slip of the tongue can bring down an entire group. Taking a man's life would require absolute solidarity from every single member. Could be they're Ihara's buddies in blue. After hearing what happened to his kid, they could... If it were me, yeah, I'd sympathize. 
but not enough to watch a man die. Or do the deed myself. Yeah, who threw their life away for that? Unless we're... That e-cig's that good, huh? Considering the area's volatility, the Leomong are the best... Well, there is the Seiryu clan, but they have some decor. And then the Komi Jewel, the Koreans, they would never get caught on camera. They're shy like that. Go figure. <laughs> Impressive list you've got up there, Mr. Handyman. Hey, if there's a crime in Kamurocho, would you know who did it off the top of your head? No. Uh, no. Uh. This footage is the lead we've been waiting for. Now we're gonna hunt them down. You get hit in the head or something? Find them and they'll mess your ass Will up. They? Don't you get it? They were planning to take you out, man. A Liumang letting you off is nothing short of a miracle. Or would you rather risk your neck over nothing? Where we come from, risking our necks the bare minimum. <laughs> yeah, well, any jean show, a handyman's way... I don't recall ever hiring you. Yeah, and if you asked me now, I'd say hell no. This shit's getting way... Sorry, Kaito-san. But I'm gonna have to pass on drinks for a while. Send my regards to the lads. Well, hey. Never chase with leaves. I was in a cold sweat all of yesterday. <laughs> this rate, I'll be forced to type one-handed. If you do the math, my pinky is worth we're talking about at least a 30% drop in efficiency. <sighs> oh, it's been a while since I got it this so, bad. Leaving Kamurocho made you rusty. Really, with that? If I could wish the pain away, I would, man. Hey, if you've got the energy to complain. I'm gonna make this up to you guys. Well, if you want to do that, we'll need to figure out who and where they are. There's a high possibility this group is directly behind Mikoshiba's murder. And of course, that would mean they know a heart. How about swapping more info with the Kanagawa police? Let's save that for when we really need it. We're not the authorities here, so we need to play our cards cl- I think that's a wise decision. Sorry, sons on top of getting things set up with Ehara, right? Take your time prepping. We can- What's up, Kaito-san? Something wrong? Call me crazy. But doesn't- What the hell? Kaito's senses tingling or something? Oh, maybe they are. Well, no point- Anyway, I need to go talk to Saris. Hold on a minute, Tuff. What? I'm noticing a lot more punk scurrying around than normal. Something's up. Really? Huh. Hey, don't I know you two? you detectives around here, ain't you? Yeah, so what? You ever seen this guy before? A few years ago, he was the manager at some girls' bar nearby. You really need all these meatheads just to find one dude? Damn right he is. How do you know? Mm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Out of curiosity. I don't think he actually ran the floor or anything. So he's a missing person? Since when? Five years ago. I mean, disappearing from Kamrocho isn't that uncommon. Your Fuck. guy have a name? And who- Trying to be cute? 
We're the ones asking the questions here. Who's fucking with who, asshole? Nice or not, information has a price. It's our bread and butter. How about I butter your brains on the sidewalk? Straight to throwing punches, huh? Even the Yakuza treated people better than that. Ah, fuck off! What's up? That all you guys got? Kamurocho used to be tough. Look at these punks. <laughs> Gaito san. Huh? It's Akatsu. First name Daimo. You know him? Former Tojo clan guy, ex Yakuza. Yakuza? Well, if you say so. Yagami Detective Agency. Maybe I ought to just hire you guys for this. We're looking for a guy. You heard, didn't you? Miss Kai you're after. He was some kind of girls bar manager here in town. I take it this manhunt is your idea? No. Soma's taking point on this one. Came from one of his connections. There's gonna be a big pile of cash in it for whoever finds him. Practically all of Kamurocho's in on this race. And Soma is? He's the one in charge of the RK gang. Of course, he's former Tojo clan too. First name Kazuki. That's crazy. Did the whole Tojo clan join this thing? Kaito would know all about all the bullshit rules it takes to keep the Yakuza running. They'll take their cut from you and call it the honorable thing to do in the same damn breath. Right, Kaito? In this new age, wouldn't you be better off joining us? You guys are too small time to pull that shit on me. <laughs> you know what else, though? In the Yakuza, if your boys went down, it was on you to get revenge for them. I don't give two shits about that these days. I would say, if there's someone disrespecting you, you might as well go get the jump on him. I would walk right up and stick him in the gut. <laughs> you wouldn't even see it coming, detective. Yeah? So don't go disrespecting me. There won't be a warning next time. Okay. Akatsu, you said? Did he get very far in the Tojo clan? 
Nah. He may have had the potential, but he never got to make anything of it. The whole thing came crashing down before he got his time in the sun. Soma's the same way, actually. They both tried to climb up the Yakuza ranks, but then the families disbanded. And by the time that happened, all the pawns were cleared off the board. Hmm. <laughs> so, now they're ex-Yakuza in the wind. And along comes this gang without all the rules and systems they were dealing with. You end up with RK, a network of thugs. RK? What does the acronym stand for? <laughs> Who the hell knows? After the Yakuza, I guess they wanted to sound more Western. If they think they can replace the Tojo clan, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Yeah, but I wouldn't say they've been discriminating. Civilian punks who want quick cash are easy recruits. RK's happy to scoop them up. Next thing you know, you've got an asshole army. That's unfortunate, but... Speaking of the Tojo clan, have you talked to Higashi lately? Yeah. As far as ex-Tojo clan guys go, he's one of the good ones. The family left him in charge of that arcade, and now that they're gone, he's basically the owner. I heard he even gave some of the younger family guys jobs. If you get a chance, you ought to show up there every once in a while. Nah, Higashi. I am the last person in the world that guy wants to see. Oh, sorry, son. Yagami san made it. Sorry. For I've been good to go for a while. First thing we'll want to try to get is how involved he was. From the way it's been so far. If he won't open up, we'll have to play the trump card. I don't mind being the ace in the hole. Are you and your ego ready then, Yagami san? Well, this ain't my department. Fill me in back at the office, okay? <laughs> I might even. Are we leaving? Oh, I thought you'd lost already. So, what more could my lawyers want from me here? Well, normally I would say the same. However, a corpse turned up as you said it would. It turns out you have a pension for prophecy, Ahara-san. <laughs> prophecy, huh? Kinda dramatic. No Hoshino today? Did you fire the poor guy? Yagimi's my name, sir. In a past life, I used to work with Genda and Saori-san. But today... I'm in Serio High School in a contract advisory role, for one of their clubs. Serio High School? It's the same school Toshiro-kun went to four years ago. You'd know it. I happened to be out there working a separate case. But that was when Shirosake-sensei called, and so that's why I'm here. Well, well. Okay. Why are you here, then? That'd be obvious at this point, I'd think. As you know, Mikoshiba turned up, as you said. His body was found in a warehouse. The question is, why did you know that well enough to proclaim it in court? Haha. <laughs> you might say it was a miracle. I wished hard enough for it to come true, and suddenly it did. Care to tell us why you'd wish for a miracle like that? Do you really need me to explain why? Mikoshiba, you blame him for Toshiro-kun's death, don't you? I do. 
Even though when you took the school to court, no evidence turned up. A third-party investigation found no bullying occurred, didn't it? At school, Mikoshiba tortured my son. He would beat him up, and then he'd demand all his money. That damn kid was a star student with high grades. My son's own class wouldn't stand up to him. To avoid being beaten, Toshiro used to. He'd steal money from me or his mother to make sure he could pay Mikoshiba off. Ahara-san, you seem to know a lot about what happened to your son. Do you have any proof? Would I have lost if I did? That school can rot in hell for all I care. Speaking of, you know what I'm convicted for. It was being a pervert. I admit to everything. I groped a businesswoman's ass in plain sight on a full train. There's no way I'm fighting for an appeal. So as for my defense, I'm in no need of lawyers anymore. Ehara-san, <laughs> just a second. Why would I give you that? Yagami-san? Hiromi Kashiba died in a lot of pain. His final moments were truly horrific. The last thing he felt must have been fear. After slitting his throat, his body was left to rot. <sighs> Doesn't that sound great? Take a look at this. Oh, Mikoshiba. <laughs> From a teacher at Serio High. But where she got it is a strange woman gave it to her, said to stay away from the Mikoshiba case. You remember Sawa-sensei, yes? She transferred to Serio four years ago. Not long ago. Yeah, not a face I'd soon forget. She told the whole court. True. She did say that. And it's not just her I detest. The administrators. But if anyone needed to pay, it was Mikoshiba. It's nothing short of insane that they were just gonna let him get a teaching credential. It all comes back to a flaw, didn't it? And it was you, wasn't it? You orchestrated every aspect of how Mikoshiba would die. But you didn't act alone. Who were the people behind it? How'd you convince them to kill a man? <laughs> That's a good one. You, my friend, are way off. The way that interview went, Ahara's definite. But if we can't connect him to the murderers, we'll have with no... Yeah. I kept that secret on lockdown, no matter what I... What could possibly link Ahara to those men? Damn it. And I was so close, too. To think they're still somewhere in the jeep. I need to find them before the trail goes cold. So you're heading back to Yokohama? Not tonight. Kaito's waiting for me in the office. I'll... Okay. If anything changes, I'll contact one of you. Kaito-san, I'm back. Kaito-san? Oh, uh, hey, did you see that email from Tsukumo? Huh? Uh, 
It wasn't that long ago. It's something you gotta see, though. What is it? Something happened? It's the murder footage. Miko Shiba's murder ended up on the internet. It's going viral on all the social media sites. You gotta forgive me. I'll do anything you want. I didn't know he'd do it. I swear. Toshiro Kun was okay. I didn't think. I didn't know he'd kill himself. I really didn't know. I swear I'll try to make it up to him somehow. I'll spend the rest of my life making up for it. Stop it. Stop it. What the hell? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ehara has an alibi for this, doesn't he? They already found him guilty, and that's the whole reason he couldn't have killed Mikoshiba, right? But if that's the case, what the hell is this? One way or another, either this thing is staged, or his entire alibi was a massive cover-up. They can't both be true. But there's something I just can't shake. If you want my opinion on it, this looks real. I need to have another chat with Ahara. Damn it. I'm not gonna let him get away with this.